Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's design, we're going to do a drop shot worm that's more of a square shape and is ribbed. I created this design about a couple months ago and had a chance to test it out too. Uh, but I haven't got the chance to upload it, so I'm going to upload it today and show you guys what I made. So let's begin. Um, I started out by just creating a freeform shape here to start out with. It's kind of funky, but then what I did was I actually cut the two ends. So then the middle portion would just stay here. Now I got more of a rectangular prism kind of looking like lure. And then next I just fillet the ends and then also created a duplicate. And I'll show you why I created a duplicate later on. So just moving the duplicate up and then next I created the rib design down here on the bottom. and then move the duplicate back down and then scale the duplicate to create the inner body of the square worm and then just um, make it look a little nicer by filleting the edges so now we have our basic design uh, what's next is just to scale it to uh, whatever thickness um, I prefer so I'm going to just show you guys at the end the thickness that I chose so this is the final product right here and what I'm gonna do is now create four more duplicates and then create the mold over it so I'll just show you guys quickly the mode that I created. So these two parts are basically the mode. Uh, if we take a look at the bottom, there's going to be five worms. So each time I inject plastic, so I'm going to get five worms. And then also create some ventings along uh, the the worm as well and then what's next is just uh, 3d printing it in my 3d resin printer and then shooting plastisol and then we'll test it out in the tank and then hopefully um, get the chance to go out and catch some more bass with it so um, stay tuned thanks for watching and um, I'll see you guys in a bit after when I created the mold All right, we are back and I created the mold using my 3D resin printer. So I'm just gonna show you guys uh, how it turned out on the inside. So here we have our five cavity worm. Turned out pretty decent. And then we also have the pins on the left side. So when you put it together, all of the uh, cavities will align. And then next we're going to put some clamps on. I usually just use four clamps. That should be enough. But you just got to make sure that it's clamped on pretty tight so you don't get any flashing. Alright, next we're going to just heat up some plastisol. So I already got some plastisol heated up in my microwave. I'm just going to give it a quick stir to get rid of the bubbles. And 
and let's go ahead and uh, inject our heated plastisol into our 3D resin mold. Just do it with light pressure and then uh, hold the pressure for a little bit, make sure that all of the areas with the cavity is full. As you can kind of see right there, I didn't top it off all the way up, so I'm just going to do that really quick with my little spoon. And then now we wait. Alright, it's been about uh, 12 to 15 minutes or so. The plastic all should cool down right now. Give it plenty of time, so let's go ahead and uh, open it up to see, see what we got here. It turned out pretty okay, pretty decent. Uh, you can see some bubble on the top left right here, but uh, the rest of them down the bottom turned out okay. So give you guys a little closer look at one of them there you have it so a little bit of flashing but that's okay it will still work I'm pretty happy with it the last step is just to test it out in my tank Totally fishy blind. What the heck? Wow. Big one, big one. Decent size. Aye.
麻烦。